Hello and uh, welcome to episode 60 of uh, Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker. So, uh, in this episode we will uh, well, continue talking to uh, Manat, Iflodeus and Emmet Selk and see what they think about my story that I'm about to tell. So, yeah, let's uh, get this that the, this uh, thing rolling. Thank you again for your uh, timely help. Now then, this time uh, I return this uh, stolen property. Uh, if you will go uh, on ahead to my accommodation, I will join you as uh, soon as I can. Have as soon as I have uh, attended to that task. Uh, follow the path uh, straight ahead uh, to the building at the top of uh, the slope. I have uh, <coughs> the entire place to myself, so we can uh, speak without fear of uh, being disturbed or overheard. Junction. Hello, sir. In northeast. Ah, it's up there. Another uh, there we go. And uh what no, oh, that one. Welcome to my uh, temporary abode. <coughs> Please make yourself at home while I put uh, on some tea. Ah, a wonderful aroma. I feel more relaxed already. Would that I had sweetmeats to offer, but I travel light out of habit. There's plenty of hot water though, so please have as much tea as you like. Now then, will you tell us your tale? Uh, the world has been uh, sundered. 
broken into shards. Mankind is being uh, forced to flee. <clears throat> Why don't you start from the beginning? Preposterous! Utterly preposterous! While not the words I would have chosen, I too have my doubts. Much of it borders on the incredulous. What of you, Vanar? Not knowing the precise details of the first final days, it is difficult to determine the veracity of the tale. Supposing it is all true, I must ask myself why I would do what I did. Why would I feel I had no recourse but to oppose the Fourteen and create this Hydaelyn? Circumstances change, of course, but it would not have been an easy decision regardless. No, there must have been a reason. One compelling enough to force me to take such drastic measures. Then there is the Elpis flower, which I said would serve as a guide. That it's of import to your mission is plain, but your presence here leads me to believe that this place also holds significance. But what could it be? What are we meant to accomplish? Might it not be simply thus? In the future whence he came, the final days could not be averted. Mankind has no choice but to flee the star. By alerting us to that eventuality, perhaps you wish to pave the way for other futures. Theoretically speaking, it is a possibility. Yet if that were my primary objective, I see no reason to guide our friend to Elpis specifically. The capital and Amorot, or even my own home, would be more logical destinations. True, true. I note also that Heidelin did not specify a point in time to which he must return. By this, it may be inferred that it was not critical that we should meet. Alternately, she had reason to believe that our paths would converge, coincidental though it may seem. Hmm... This is quite a puzzle. And we do not have all the pieces. Hardly any. But we do have one immutable fact. If the final days are indeed as described, they will bring death to all that I hold dear. 
Yet despite being afforded long years of preparation, the only provisions I could make were for flight. Nay, my first and foremost endeavor would be to find a way to forestall the coming doom. Given that even the 14 failed, mayhap you deemed it impossible. Nothing is impossible. This I have always believed. And if Heidelin is indeed me, she would believe the same. Listen to yourself. Are you seriously entertaining the notion that you are a messianic figure in some far-fetched tale? Well, I will not. I refuse to accept that our world could be undone by some unforeseen calamity. I also take offense to my portrayal as a megalomaniacal madman. <laughs> what <Well>, you are? <laughs> oh. To sacrifice oneself for the star is a noble act, and I would hold those who gave themselves to this zodiac in the highest esteem. Yet, you claim I recreated Amarot and populated it with phantoms of our people? A bizarre indulgence that would be insulting to their memory. Worse still, I even invited you there. Literally invited my own downfall. Why would I do something so idiotic and inexplicable? Now, I will allow that the hypothetical task of restoring our world would be daunting in the extreme. The thought of having to bear such a burden for a thousand, thousand lives horrifies me. But I would never forsake my duty. I would never forsake my brethren. You do not know me. I've had my fill of your fiction. I will return to my duty, and you will not bother me again. Emmett Selk, wait! <laughs> You've seen much of Elpis already. If you have any observations to share, I should like to hear them. Uh. Dynamis is, uh is key to all of this. Ah yes, the energy distinct from ether. Though not my field, I have a basic understanding of dynamis. And you say Hermes researched the phenomenon in the course of creating Meteon? Yes, I believe this warrants further investigation. With that settled, it is time for action. The missing pieces of the puzzle are here, I'm certain of it. And when you find them, the picture my future self has painted will be complete, and you will have your answer. Now suffice it to say, I will aid you in your quest. Have faith. If Emmet Selk is the man Azam described to me, we've not seen the last of him.
right. Shall we begin our investigation then? I am uh, acquainted with uh, Hermes, of course, but only uh, as a visitor uh, received by the chief overseer of Elpis. Uh, of the man himself, I know only what, only that which is uh, common knowledge. Thus, I suggest we uh, fall back on the tried and true method of uh, conversing with uh, the locals. The, obs the observers uh, who live here uh, can surely tell us uh, more of Hermes and uh, Meteon. And I have a good idea of uh, where we might begin. Uh, see you, the woman standing in front of uh, yonder building. Uh, her name is uh, Ismini. Uh, she is the one who uh, made arrangements for my stay in Elpis. And from what I uh, recall, uh, she has uh, held her position here for quite some time. Uh, chances are she uh, can provide us with some uh, insights. Uh, go and ask your uh, questions. I will help with uh, drawing out answers, if need be. Uh, but I leave the choice of uh, topic up to you. Questions for me? Well, I suppose I have, I have uh, no other pressing duties at the moment. The following event cannot be uh, skipped. You may wish to cancel any uh, pending duty, duty finding re registrations. Okay. Begin uh, asking questions. Uh, greetings, Ms. Mean. Uh, my friend here is uh, desperately curious about uh, Chief Hermes. Uh, and I was uh, wondering if you might uh, indulge him. Certainly, Mistress Vanette. Uh, anything to be uh, of service. What do you wish to uh, know? Uh, what kind of person is uh, Hermes? Well, I can only answer from my own experience, but I would uh, describe him as a quiet man, reserved, you might say, and uh, occasionally uh, somewhat poor with his uh, choice of words. Uh, his, uh, reticent, his reticent nature, however, does not uh, prevent him from uh, carrying out his uh, duties as chief overseer. The man is uh, walking ar archive when it comes to uh, life forms. He can uh, discuss any uh, species in uh, incredible detail and is uh, the leading authority on uh, concepts with the power of light. I hope that answers your uh, questions. Was there anything else? Uh, do you know of uh, Meteon's abilities? Uh, it's no secret that uh, she is a uh, highly unusual familiar. Of late, uh, the chief often uh, makes his uh, rounds with her, like a uh, mother hen raising her chick. <laughs> I understand that she is uh, able to uh, read emotions and uh, communicate directly uh, with one's uh, mind. Exactly how she uh, was created with that uh, talent, however, is a mystery to me. 
my apologies. I wish uh, I could explain her uh, nature in more depth, but uh, I've not uh, had occasion to uh, discuss it with uh, Chief Her Hermes. Uh, do you wish to know him better? The chief may uh, not be the most uh, gregarious individual, but he uh, engaged with us uh, as is uh, necessary for everyone to uh, perform their duties. I wouldn't uh, want to intrude intrude upon his uh, privacy for the sake of uh, curiosity for if uh, you wish to uh, learn more about uh, Meteon you could try speaking with uh, Timaios another, another expert in the creation of uh, flying concepts uh, he should be able uh, he should be conducting his uh, observations uh, on the uh, banks of the stream somewhere uh, to the east oh and uh, unless you take uh, a particular joy in uh, rambling uh, this discurs uh, I suggest you keep your uh, questions uh, concise we shall keep that in mind uh, thank you for your uh, uh, patience and uh, your insight. Think nothing of it. Uh, if there is uh, aught else uh, you need during your stay, uh, please do not hesitate to ask. Come, Geoffrey. I think we. Ooh. Uh, uh, come, Geoffrey. I think we've uh, taken enough uh, of Ismail's time. Alright, uh, she's right behind us. Our investigation is uh, off to a fine start. Wouldn't you agree? From here I propose uh, that we split up. I shall continue making uh, inquiries with uh, the resident, uh, resident observers. Uh, if you could uh, track down the colleague Ismin uh, mentioned. Uh, given how you uh, stared at the uh, previous conversation, it's plain you need no uh, assistance from me. All I ask is that you uh, watch your uh, footing around the stream. We can uh, meet back here uh, once you've uh, finished speaking with uh, this uh, uh, time, uh, time miles. Uh, that way. Uh, to the west. Uh, let's uh, pick that one up first. Uh, southwest. Southwest. Oh, it's up there, the waterfall.
Yes, yes, I am uh, Triamos, but please keep your voices down. You'll startle the birds. Uh, so, what is it you wish to uh, speak about? Uh, is it true you're uh, an expert in flying creation? A fellow infused, are you? Well, settle in, and uh, we can uh, discuss the finer points uh, of this uh, fascinating craft. Uh, my deep and uh, abiding love of uh, avian uh, artistry uh, can be traced back to when I was uh, but a young boy, uh, stricken by the transcendent uh, beauty of a uh, glorious golden uh, feathered creature by my father had uh, designed. It was uh, then and there that I uh, vowed to one day uh, surpass that um, masterpiece. <laughs> yeah. And thus did I uh, secure an uh, observer role here in Elpis, and at last I uh, realized my uh, childhood ambition. Uh, here the dream, dreams I once uh, dreamed are an uh, everyday reality, in which I find uh, fulfillment uh, through the research and the creation of new uh, flying life forms. And, uh, a bridged uh, recounting of uh, events, as was uh, doubtless to your uh, disappointment. Is there any uh, specific part of uh, part you uh, would like me to uh, expound expand upon? Hmm. You were hoping for my opinion on uh, Chief Her Hermes uh, creations. Then uh, why didn't you say so? Uh, those beings which uh, soar through the clouds, majestic and uh, graceful, uh, are ever a uh, favorite of uh, creators. Even now with uh, so many uh, variants in uh, existence, the flood of uh, newly imagined uh, concepts uh, continues unabated. What sets the chief's uh, creation apart, however, is how they uh, benefit from his uh, boundless knowledge of uh, the celestial realm. Birds that uh, climb so high that they uh, disappear from view. Uh, others which uh, traverse the uh, boundless sky in uh, moments and all without riding the currents. I know none. I know of none, save he who uh, can uh, conceive of such uh, marvels. Even we who uh, prize el elegance uh, of form above all else are uh, dumbfounded by his uh, genius. Ah, uh, Meteon 2 is a marvel then. My opinion on that matter uh, would be uh, superficial at best. Uh, despite my uh, uh, admiration for uh, Meteon as a concept, I have never uh, developed too uh, deeply into uh, the inner workings uh, over her nature. I know that she uh, has a gift for a com communication, communicating 
via emotions. But otherwise, uh, her abilities are a mystery to me. If Shifa uh, Hermes should uh, choose to submit Meteon, Meteon's concept to the Bureau of uh, the Architect, then uh, will the, the science be uh, registered uh, for public scrutiny. Analyzing uh, a colleague's uh, creations before that step is uh, frowned upon, to say the least. Of course, if he uh, came to me, a fellow artisan, looking for advice, that would uh, be an entirely different story. Uh, do you know, uh, I could tell you more of uh, Meteon's uh, nature, if you like. Eh. Uh, wow. Do you know of uh, Dynamis and uh, Antelechus? Dynamis and Antelechus? Those terms uh, do sound vaguely familiar. Was there not a uh, flower made uh, here in uh, Elpis which uh, exhibit the uh, properties of uh, one or the other? I must uh, have been uh, co centuries uh, since I last uh, heard anyone uh, speak of such things. Has there been a uh, resurgence in uh, interest? And why bring up uh, the subject? I'm flattered that you uh, sought my uh, insight, but uh, I cannot afford to uh, neglect my uh, duties for the sake of uh, idle chatter. Now, I really must uh, return to my uh, observations. Surely you have uh, your own task to, to attend to. Well, that didn't go all that well. Alright, so... Uh, uh. Right, let's uh, keep going north. Uh, I got the feeling it's yeah, it's on the next island. Talk to him and that I need a drink. <sighs> ah, good timing. I finished my own uh, investigation uh, not long ago. So, have you any uh, new findings to share? I see. Even an expert in the field had little understanding of uh, Meteon's uh, capabilities, let alone an uh, aver uh, awareness of uh, diamonds. My questions resulted in uh, much the same answers. Hermes' uh, colleagues view, uh, view Meteon as his uh, personal project and could provide no detail beyond uh, those which you just uh, told me. Which leads me uh, to believe that the only person uh, with any significant uh, knowledge of uh, Dynamis is Hermes himself. Yes, we've made some uh, progress here, but more information is uh, needed if we are to uh, reach any definitive uh, conclusions. Alright, uh, well, we still have five minutes left here, so.
at present the strongest link uh, we have to the final days is uh, the power of dynamis and uh, intellect is uh, which can control it uh, yet most uh, scholars are uh, only vaguely aware of uh, these terms let alone study them uh, in any depth except uh, for Hermes it seems thus I am uh, inclined to uh, stay uh, stay our current course and uh, learn all we can about the uh, chief overseer and his uh, familiar and on that subject uh, was there aught uh, else of uh, note you can uh, tell me about uh, Meteon aside from her uh, unorthodox uh, method of uh, communication uh, she and her sisters were uh, created to journey to the stars and uh, search for inte intelligent life I rather wish you had mentioned that earlier in any uh, event would you uh, care to elaborate? So, uh, these siblings uh, of hers uh, now travel uh, the great expanse in search of uh, deeper meaning. Thank you. But the mystery at, uh, at hand remains uh, unresolved. I feel you've uh, touched upon a vital clue, one we uh, should keep uh, in mind as we continue. Hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, uh, like I said a few episodes back, uh, I don't recognize this, uh, this conversation, this small part of the conversation here at all. So I think uh, I must have stumbled upon uh, uh, a different storyline ish question mark uh, with the questions I asked basically. Uh, all right. Uh, next, I propose we take uh, ourselves uh, to uh, Perry Pet. Uh, crystal crystalline not far from here uh, just follow the path to the west Uh, I do want to point out that uh, the continuation of this uh, uh, story so far oh, wow we are running out of time here so I am going to uh, head back here instead uh, the continuation of the story is basically the same but uh, uh, That thing she said, like uh, she wished to, uh, I wish she wish I had told her earlier. Uh, that part I had never seen before. All right, well, uh, I do want to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please uh, hit the like button. And uh, if you're new here, first of all, welcome. And uh, if you enjoy my content, then why don't you hit the subscribe button together with the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future content. I will be uh, back again tomorrow and until then, stay safe out there.